I would do therapy probably five times a week um, at home and then, uh, well, sometimes three times a week depending on my schedule. And um, she'd receive therapy at Kids Count twice a week. And we noted significant um, improvement in her eye contact, in her circles, in her OT um, skills, her writing got better, her fine motor skills. We figured that she would have to be in therapy for a while and that you know maybe she wouldn't even be in, in mainstream school but she's in, she's in kindergarten doing great without any problem. Nobody even knows that um, she's autistic except her teacher. So by sending information repeatedly through the synapses, the brain actually grows new synapses in response to something called neuroplasticity. It's modified by experience. The more information goes through this pathway, the stronger it becomes. So we have more pathways, strengthening pathways by repeated stimulation. Then when you can apply multiple pathways simultaneously, you increase even further the brain's ability to multitask. So the ILS system is an auditory system. It's the only auditory system that combines listening and auditory stimulation with movement and visual activities. So you have an auditory system which improves auditory processing, so important for reading and speech and language. It talks to the visual system, also important for reading and orienting to sound. These talk to the vestibular system, an inner ear system that has to do with coordination, balance, muscle tone, and regulation of all of our movements and our position in space. So we have networks of systems going on simultaneously that are being stimulated at the same time. With her sensory issues, Maggie hated the hair dryer, she hated the vacuum, she would not even stay in um, the bathroom with me when I was blow drying my hair and after about a month on the ILS she, she we had taken a bath and back in the back part of the house she came in my bathroom handed me the hair dryer and said would you please blow dry my hair. When I retested her she was at a normal range on um, all of her auditory processing skills, um, her communication, she was um, consistent with her peer group her language skills were in a functional range. And I was skeptical, to be honest, when we first started. Um, I went in with a fairly closed mind to ILS. And um, we have had all of our th children that we have put through therapy have made fantastic gains. I can honestly say that we have not had a child um, not progress and make good improvements with ILS. For the three students that I see, we are at session 21. Uh, we do a half an hour once a day, five days a week. Um, the kids love it when I go to pick them up for it. If I miss a day because of an IEP meeting, they're asking, where's Ms. Tollison? Why am I not doing this? So they come willingly, they enjoy participating, and motorically I am seeing a huge difference with the kids that I'm, I'm working with. I have um, one of the kiddos in particular that jumping jacks. I mean, something as simple as catching a ball we've been working on for two years, and we've pretty much gotten you know limited results with what we're doing in therapy and they're doing that now so to see just the improvements that they're making from a motor standpoint is huge in my opinion because they're able to have better control of their bodies they're able to sit and attend better in class and that's our goal I mean that's that's what we want for them so I'm even seeing when I walk in uh, to these students because they, they know me from from having uh, been evaluating them before and uh, but they they they're even showing I think some better kind of just social uh, social interaction uh, they'll they'll say something totally socially appropriate and it'll yeah. it'll uh, take me back well and two kiddos in particular that we're gonna see this morning um, very scripted speech typically and as Paul said they'll come up and how are you doing today or just I had such and such for breakfast it's just it's pertinent stuff that yeah. we're not used to seeing
to be effective. It's good to be funded. It's good to be very tested. 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 It's There's an adage that says that neurons, networks that fire together, wire together. So by providing this simultaneous sensory input through multiple systems, you're improving brain function, interconnectivity, and strength. 